thank you uh, for the honor to be uh, presenting today. It's quite an exciting meeting. Um, and I'm excited to be telling you about um, our algorithmic uh, toolkit called Coral for greatly enhancing our ability to study important genomic events in cancer known as extrachromosomal DNA focal amplifications. So extrachromosomal DNA, or ECDNA, it's a very prevalent form of oncogene amplification found in cancers specifically, not in normal cells. It's about 15% of uh, cancers at diagnosis will have extrachromosomal DNA, but up to 33% of cancers overall. In specific aggressive types of cancers, like glioblastomas, it's found in nearly every case. It's associated quite significantly with shorter patient survival, and yet it's very difficult to study uh, because of its large, often a megabase, at least in size, uh, scale, um, circular nature, and highly rearranged structure, often containing segmental duplications, triplications, et cetera. It's also rapidly evolving, so it's very important for therapeutic resistance. And so for these reasons, it's been designated as a grand challenge in cancer. Typically, what's been done to study ECDNA is to take short-read whole genome sequencing data, align it to a reference genome, and identify focal amplifications, and it's done a pretty good job, actually, over the past 10 years or so at detecting the presence or absence of ECDNA. Uh, but it doesn't do such a great job at resolving the full structural heterogeneity, epigenetic states of ECDNA, um, which is especially important for studying its biology as well as clinical relevance. I think you know where I'm going with this. Um, nanopore sequencing technology overcomes a lot of these issues, especially the ultra-long reads that we're using nowadays allows us to not only better detect uh, breakpoints or structural variants, but also phase together how these breakpoints come together to form distinct ECDNA molecules, and in this way allows us to deconvolve the structural heterogeneity um, and really represent the full um, uh, catalog of ECDNA molecules in a cancer population. So motivated by a lot of these uh, developments and unique advantages, especially from Oxford Nanopore, we developed an algorithmic uh, toolkit called CORAL, stands for Complete uh, Reconstruction of Amplicons with Long Reads. That starts with whole genome sequencing data uh, from, let's say, Minion or Prometheon. It identifies seed intervals that are focally amplified um, using a tool like uh, CNV Kit or Spectre. And then from this, it does a search from each one of these seed intervals and it reconstructs all the structural variants that are connected to this focally amplified region. We encode this in a breakpoint graph that could theoretically capture um, several different distinct ECDNA molecules. And so we use an optimization algorithm that optimizes for both parsimony, but then also um, tries to capture as much of the copy number and structural heterogeneity as possible to output a collection of ECDNA amplicons. I have a poster, and I don't have a lot of time to tell you about everything we've done here, but I will tell you that we've tested Coral on a wide variety of simulated parameter regimes, and it outperforms existing short-read and long-read approaches. And then we've also tried this out on heavily validated and well-studied cancer cell lines and found that our reconstructions more closely match what we expect. Um, there's a lot of future directions we're extremely excited about, so please stop by my poster. I'm number 13. Happy to tell you about more about Coral, the simulations that we did, as well as some of the future directions we're excited about, and more importantly, how to get involved either using Coral or um, becoming a co collaboration uh, with us. Um, I'll end by just acknowledging everyone that's involved, including my advisor, Howard Chang at Stanford, our colleagues at UC San Diego, and of course, the very supportive um, and outstanding Nanopore team.